concluded the out brief uh, to our senior mission commander, Major General Barrier, and Colonel Wright, and even some folks from downtown. Uh, talking about the vision plan, walking through uh, what is known as SWOT analysis, what is known as uh, goals and objectives, uh, and really showing them the, what process uh, the people here walked through over the last two and a half days. I know that Carol always says, you know, our airfield is one of the only airfields in the military that can actually expand. A lot of airfields are built right up against them. They're crowded. They can't go any further. We actually have the opportunity to expand this, whether that would be for U.S. or, or sister service aircraft or whatever in the future or it's just upon us, um, you know, I think we do have that, that ability to expand. Um, expansion as, a, as mission, not only UAS, but maybe in the future with technology, our spectrums and, and things like that will, will grow and we can bring more opportunity here with the installation. Oh, it went great. We um, were able to identify the needs of Fort Huachuca and the activities are going well and things that are not going so well. Um, focusing on the missions, the roads, the interconnectivity. What excites me is that we all came together, identified some improvements that needed to be made, and that I see maybe they come into fruition. And this is one of the times where the process is just as about as important as the outcome, because it's going to change. Conditions will change on the ground, uh, but the work that was done identifying some of the key variables the identity of how we see for what you, some of those aren't really going to change. Those become enduring principles that we can kind of navigate, uh, you know, the ways of change. It is interesting to start over on that side, hear, hear the vision for what a great community is and, and how it could be improved, um, all the way across to, uh, to the SWOT analysis, to, to uh, making, making our com uh, community better with uh, better roads and bike paths and parks. Uh, so, so that is a, a wonderful perspective, and I think the work that has been done here is going to uh, feed a whole bunch of different processes over time. So for the time that you invested, I, I think it was well worth it, and especially well worth it uh, for the installation as we go forward and think about how we do this, but also partnership with the community and how this could, could feed any, any uh, plans you have for, for things that you want to do within uh, Sierra Vista and Cochise County and how, how it could uh, help, help one another. So thank you very much, and thanks to the team for a great job. From MCOM, through the Corps of Engineers, through uh, the contractors, all uh, were amazed at, at just how inclusive, how informed, uh, how uh, how well the uh, the participants uh, understood what they were trying to get at, and really uh, dug down in and, and worked on this to, to bring back not just another book to sit on the shelf, but a living document that we can use for the next 20 years.